Did you cop off last night? No. This is for you. Only the best for the mother of my unborn yet incredibly stylish, some would say borderline genius child. I had a bit of trouble with the poached egg. <laughs> That's what they used to call me at netball. I'm not being funny, Violet. I think you're beginning to show. Sean, it is about the size of a pea. It? It? Don't you mean he stroke she? Hiya! I'm back. I mean, didn't expect you back so early. Oh, what's the occasion? Have you copped off? <laughs> no. Don't lie. I know when you're trying to impress. You see him? Is he in the bedroom? Yeah, yeah, he's in there, pacing about like Marlon Brando in Streetcar Named Desire. Violet, don't encourage you. Listen, you two would have me down as a right slapper. <laughs> Just cos you've been away for a dirty weekend doesn't mean we've been so lucky. Oh, did you have a nice time, Eileen? Where's Pat? Did he drop you off? I had a great time. Hey, put it this way. Didn't see much of Scarborough. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr Wong. How can I...? You what? How does that feel? Vernon, it's a nicotine patch, not a neck brace. Is it like you're having a great big ciggy? Yeah, I can feel something. Do you know how much these things cost? They're cheaper than a week's worth of fags. No, no, but if you go to your doctors, you can get them for free. Oh, yeah, and I've got loads of time to go bobbing over to the medical centre, haven't I? But do you know what? For you, I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Good. Oh. oh, so what's it feel like being 13, eh? Well, cool. I think I'm getting old, though. Did you get any presents? Oh, yeah. And you best make most of them, cos they might be the last ones he ever gets. So, uh, what did you get then, Sausage? Oh, well, I got this collar mm -hmm. and a lead yeah. and some biodegradable poo bags. Oh, nice. Cos <laughs> guess who's just lost their job? Fucking's here. Do you know, I got dealy boppers for my 13th. Oh. How that made up? I got boxing gloves. I lost one, though. I used to go shadow boxing with one glove and another mitt. Uh, is anyone listening to me? I've lost my flaming job. Mr Wong's closed out Chippy. Can you believe it? It's all because of them dirty chavs what I've moved in Ovett Road. Yes, I I'm very sorry to hear that. You're joking. I only wish I were. <laughs> a bit workhouse for us. Oh. Would you want me to go and put the windows through for you? I hardly think that would be necessary, Becky. Uh, give that girl a pay rise, Roy. It'll be your livelihood what suffers next. I'll see you in Dolky, Betty. Becky. I try and be a good person and look what happens. I was just beginning to turn my life around, Roy. I don't even know if I can afford to pay for this meal anymore. Yeah, well, this is on my house, this. Stick that tea towel on your head, Becky. You and Mother Teresa. Jodie Marsh or Vanessa Phelps? Do I have to choose? Yes, you do. It's the law. Vanessa Phelps. Good morning, gentlemen. And might I say what a fine morning it is. The sun is shining in the sky. You'd be shocked if it was in the canal. I'd just be more whistle that. Hmm? Really? Yeah, well, someone whistled and asked me the way to Inkerman Street, but it's all the same. Anyway, greetings and felicitations from your favourite switchboard operator with the best legs in the office. Blimey Island, if knocking off a married man can put this much spring in your step, he hasn't got a married sister for me, has he? Thanks. You really know how to make a girl feel special. I'd say that was Pat's job, wouldn't you? Yeah. And does his missus know where you was this weekend? Yeah. Eh? Eh? Do you know, I think I'm just going to go out and self-harm. Oh, I mean by paper. Best legs in the office. Hasn't she seen my curvy calves? Sleep OK? Not bad. Woke up a few times. What was I snoring? Not louder than usual. Should just give me a nudge? I read a few chapters of me marrying keys. But my mind kept racing. I usually like her stuff as well. It's like a friend talking to you. You should have woke me up. We could have had a chat. Because yeah. that would go down really well at five o'clock in the morning. Here, yeah, Ashley, do you fancy a natter? Anyway, what do you want to do today? What do you want to do? 
No. What about you? Ashley, it's fine. The world doesn't revolve around me. Yeah, it does. But it's a daft. I'm just saying, if you ought to do something, then we will. Shall I tell you what I'd like to do? Would you really like to know? I would like to lie down in a darkened room and sob my heart out. I don't suppose that's an option, is it? Well, do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to go to the pub and get drunk that afternoon. When did we ever do that? Well, we've had a laugh. We've done that before, haven't we? I don't suppose that's an option either, is it? It's a fantasy. We've got responsibilities. Do you know, I wake up in the morning and for a few seconds I'm happy. And then it hits me like a brick over the head. The madness that's happened to us. Claire, I do want this to work, you know. And I don't. Well, there you go. We've agreed on something. That's good, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyway, what's your book about? Ashley, don't. I'm interested. It's about a woman whose marriage is over, who flies off to LA and starts a new life. <laughs> Look, if we can't think of anything to do today, let's just do nothing. Just don't go booking any flights to LA, though, OK? Yay! Yeah. And then, of course, there was the time when Holland's Linda Wagonmakers had backing singers actually hidden in the pleats of a skirt. <laughs> that was some skirt. Mind you, who could forget the quirky face paint of the Schmetterlings? And boom, boom, boomerang. Boom, banger, bang. No, boom, boom, boomerang. There were a lot of booms, 69 through 78. What's he banging on about? Favourite Eurovision moments. You weren't born for half of it. Well, let me tell you, thank goodness for the internet. Huh? What about you, Jamie? Favourite Eurovision moments? When it finishes? Oh, he's droll. Hey, Liz, in Z droll. Trez droll. He was talking to me. Oh, really? I thought he was chewing a brick. So, what's going to you then? Huh? You only talk about Eurovision when you're in a very good mood. Well, maybe I've got good reason to be squeezing the sublime. Did you cop off last night? No. Why is it everybody has me down as a manslag? Because we know you too well. Hey, look, he's gay. Ergo, he's a very happy chappy because that is what gay means. No, hey, I'm gay. Stop showing off, Vernon. You're not gay. Oh, I'm happy. Does that make me Lebanese? <laughs> no, it's not Trump. <laughs> it's a pub. What do you want me to be? Sunburn. Oh, I love this song. So come on in. What is it? Guess. But you never will. You've won the lottery. No. Do you think I'd be stood here in 100% acrylic talking to you if I had? OK. You've got taller day. <laughs> Told you you wouldn't get it. You've won an award for the campus man in the northwest, haven't you? <clears throat> I'm having a baby. Sean, I've told you before, your beer guy ain't that big. Straight up. Jamie, have you actually come in for a drink or are you just going to stand there with your hands in your pockets? Sorry, this I'll have uh, a pint, please. Vernon. You want to know? I've got an errand to make. I'll see you, Mum. Yeah. Hiya, Donna. My name is Jodie. Oh, it's just a sort of sign it, Linda. <laughs> Large Donna 290. I assumed it were you. What can I get you? <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> you don't get a figure like this by eating dross like that. Oh, well, if you are what you eat, then... Somebody's been tucking into a humpback whale. Oh, sorry, with that a joke. Oh, <laughs> the save that girls are funny. <laughs> I'm not the one who looks like a space opera love. I lost my job because of you, and I come in here to be insulted. Yeah, why? Where do you usually go? Uh, Jody, just calm down. Oh, I see you've got your father's figure. <laughs> Where do you get your face from? Jabba the Hut. Uh, excuse me, love, but you're losing your job had nothing to do with our Jody. It's hard to tell you two apart. Do you know what? You want to watch yourself? Because you have crossed a line today, lady. Oh, I'm quaking in my cowboys. See ya. What are you doing? 
Um, I promise you won't tell anybody. About what? About what I said. Sean, men can't get pregnant. Girls can. Yeah, but you're gay. Why would you have got a girl pregnant? Because I planned it. What? Look, promise me you won't say anything. I've been sworn to secrecy myself. Are you winding me up? You've got a girl pregnant. Well, I didn't sleep with her. We used an alternative method. No, I don't mean... All right, who is it? Hiya. Have you seen all the fag butts around here? It's disgusting. Violet. Violet's having your baby. I know it's weird, but it's what we both want. It's off its head, isn't it? You can still be happy for us, though. Yeah, congratulations. Back in the net. Is that dead? I suppose congratulations are in order. You didn't answer my question. You fool. Usual, Mrs. Brinsdale. Yeah, Lord, she's uh, sat outside the pet shop with a bag of pig's ears, apparently. Just don't ask. Hiya. You all right? Oh, you got a new shirt? I've not seen that before. I'm not trying to be a plonker, Mum. Or does it just come naturally? Yeah, don't laugh at me, I don't laugh at you. No, you just look down your nose at me, which is worse. And why do I, eh? What would you say to me? If I came in here now and said I was seeing some girl, only she was married and a fella had no idea, what would you say to me? I'd say you've got the whole of your life in front of you. Mum, you're 40-odd, not 90-odd, and you've still not answered my question. What? What would you say to me? I'd say you were a fool. I'd say you deserve better. I'd say it would end in tears. No more questions, Your Honour. Come here. Oh, get a room. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the Wanderer returns. <laughs> the Rover returns. Hey, I thought you would have been a lot browner than that. Any word for Michelle? Uh, no, no. Uh, and we can't keep a job open forever. Uh, listen, how was Andy? None of your business. Oh. It's only asking. You know, Steve, actually, that was a bit rude because the one thing you can say about Vernon is he's got good manners. Good manners? That's a joke, innit? He said he was neither use nor ornament before I went away. Yeah. Well, he's a better man than your dad ever was. What are you going on about? <sighs> Listen, while you've been away, I, uh, I've really put him through the mill. Good. No, Steve, I had a tiny affair. But the main thing is... Vernon has forgiven me completely, and he doesn't need to know that you know, just so you know. Anyone we know? No, just someone I met. You don't need to know. Mum, can you say no any more times? Flipping it. Welcome home, Steve, eh? Look, he has given me a second chance. Your dad would have slapped the foundation off me. Well, let's not go there, shall we? Not I'm glad he forgave you. Hey, I have packed in the fags. <laughs> you know, just cos he doesn't hate your mum, it doesn't make him a saint, you know? And Andy was fine, by the way, thanks for asking. I did. For a brief period of time, I was a new romantic. Oh, I'd have loved to have been around in them days. I'd have looked stunning in a pair of gold lamy harem pants. Yes, love. Oh, something, anything to take away taste of putrid kebab. Bitter. Luke Sharpish. Ah. Uh, Pint. Actually, make it two. <laughs> Save me coming back. Can I have a word? So, we set some ground rules and you go and break them. 
Jamie. <gasps> no, your big mouth. He guessed. Don't lie to me. He promised he wouldn't say anything. Oh, did he? All right, well, forget he ever said anything then. We're not in the playground now with Sean. I'm not snogged you behind the bike sheds. This is serious. I know. I'll kill him. <laughs> this isn't about him. This is about you. But then isn't it always? Ben and I'm going on a break. Oh, anyway, nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Dicky kebab. From that place, Jerry's. There were bits of bone in Madonna. And when I finished, a pitter full of blood. Not right, is it? Well, no. Mm, and that girl that serves you, very unfortunate face. Like a reject off Muppets. <laughs> well, looks are very important, you know, when you're dealing with the public. Well, you and I both know that, Vernon, my treasure. <laughs> Happen nobody bothered to tell her. <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? Well, if you're going to be homophobic about it. Uh, look, I may be a lot of things, but I'm not that. Well, on loads of levels, it makes sense. And what about the level that says he's a prat? I thought he was your mate. I'd hate to hear how you talk about your enemies. Violet, I think he's a nuts, you know I do. But he is a nightmare. I mean, copping off with Michelle's fella behind her back. And I'm assuming you're not best pleased he's blabbed about this. Oh, forgive me for interrupting, but I've just got Tori home. I had a kebab from Jerry's and it sent me queer. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. It's all right. Right. Well, I'll take that as a compliment then. <laughs> Catch ya. Hey, what's happened now? Oh, don't tell me. Lecky's gone. Hey, Schmeichel. Oh, he's not chewed his way through me wedges, has he? I've not even worn him yet. He's gone missing. I didn't even have time to give him my presents. Well, how did he get out? I went in, fed him in the yard, came back inside. Then when I went back out to check up on him, the back gate was shut, but he weren't there. Since when has he been able to open back gate? I don't think he did. I think someone else did. He hadn't even finished his tea. Why would he run away when he not had his tea? Do you know what I reckon, so? He's been dog-napped. Kidnap my backside. You must have left back gate open, you great big wazzock. Now get inside. Come on. Our Andy's got a 46-inch high-definition screen. Is that impressive, as you say it like it is? It's a TV screen which is the size of a house. Suddenly everything is different. People are massive. Places are... well, they freak you out. Everything's the same, but different. Actresses that you once fancied suddenly have flaws. Is this leading anywhere? Not that I should be surprised. I mean, life's like that, isn't it? You think you know something and then something comes along and everything is completely cock-a-hoop. You've been hanging around with that Sean too long. Ah, yeah, so sue me. Look, all I'm saying is that people never fail to surprise you. I mean, take me, Bob. Well, what's she done? You won't believe... Well, you probably would believe me. Michelle. What's she done? Well, you know, I fought really hard to win her. And what is she? An egg and spoon race? And then she just... She just blanks me. Nothing to do with the fact that her brother's just died in a car crash. Look, I'm not stupid. I know when I've been dumped. That way she used to look at me, Eileen, I took that look for love. And then suddenly she's on the big screen, our Andy's big screen. And, well, that look isn't love, it's... Well, it's boredom. Well, I can't say I blame her. I mean, if I was going out with me, I'd be bored, Richard. Well, you've certainly bored the giblets out of me, Steve. Joke. Look, if it's any consolation, and how are you feeling? What, bored? No, I mean, I come back from my holidays full of the joys of spring, and then everyone, everyone who crosses my path just rains on my parade. What about Pat? Yeah, about Pat. I guess I'm just surprised that you've given up on finding Mr Wright so soon. Well, I didn't want to hang around. Well, you've been pregnant twice this year. Do you not think you've been a bit obsessive? Why can't you just wait? I mean, what is the rush? What business is it of yours? Right, when I was pregnant by you, Jamie, all you cared about was how Frankie would feel. Now I make a decision to have a baby on my own. A friend enables me to do that. 
all of a sudden you care about what happens to me. That is not fair. I just want to know what you're running away from here. I'm not running away from anything. I'm getting a life, which is something you would know nothing about. I'm not having a go, all right? <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? I am. I'm having a go at doing something positive with my life. OK, so I've chosen my gay best friend to be the father. Look, at least think about it, will you? Think... <laughs> what, you, you think that I've gone into this blind? Jamie, I'm not like you. I don't sit around all day in a cab office, getting off on talking about rubbish that doesn't matter. I try and do what's right, and this is. Who are you trying to convince, Violet? Me or you? You've always got to get the last word, haven't you? You're worse than Sean. The UK is now in a smoking ban, and if you want more information, then log on to itv.com slash bigban. Next on ITV1, an investigation puts Miller in the frame in heartbeat. And were you one of the lucky ones given the chance to appear on an F1 team car at the British Grand Prix? F1 fan car, next on ITV4.